Hey folks, my name is Promise, and welcome to more They Are Billions! And very soon it actually is going to be Billions! We are currently cleaning up the second to last wave of the game at day 63, and actually this one was a bit of a doozy, they caught me with my pants down, didn't even think to reinforce this area, and nearly lost the game for it, but it looks like we are just barely going to recover, which is... Very, very nice for me. So now we have exactly nine days remaining before the final wave is going to trigger. And that's gonna suck, because we're gonna get hit from several different directions. And honestly, the more I'm sitting here and thinking about what we're gonna be doing for this final wave, the more I'm kind of wondering if we have a pretty terrible setup. So what I've got right now is a situation where I'm trying to cover the entire edge of the map, right? And I have to clean up the rest like the northwest corner, I know that, but you get the idea. And, um, that's a really bad way to play the game, to be honest. It's not resource efficient at all. I'll explain a bit more about why in a little bit. For now, let's just be happy we cleaned this all up. Let's go ahead and gather up the rest of my troops. And then we are going to start heading up to the northwest, deal with the last giant, and clear everything out. In the meantime, I need to stock up as much gosh dang money as is possible. Of course, while we're doing all this, let's not forget we do still want a lot of these other basic resources. In particular, I really want a lot of stone. Because in my experience, as you start prepping for the final wave, and you have to start setting up a whole bunch of extra towers and stuff like that, and walls in particular, you end up going through a freaking ton of stone. Like an absolute ton of it. So, um, yeah, the more we generate, probably the better for me. Let's also keep in mind that we can go ahead and start destroying a bunch of things we don't need. So, some of these walls, some of these towers, right in places where I know that I'm not going to be trying to defend over in this area. This is not going to be my bottleneck of choice. Might as well get the refund of, what is it, half the resources? It's something around there. And let's make sure we keep building as many houses and stuff as possible. If I want to get more troops, we're going to need a lot more people. Speaking of more troops, once I get some more energy, we need to get a couple more soldier centers. Two ain't going to cut it. Not for very long. I really feel like I am going to need to be able to train up more snipers a lot faster. Okay, drawn out as many of the last harpies in the northwest as we can. There is still a giant to worry about. He's moving on the map, but I don't think he's actually coming after me. Yeah, I'm really banking on that. He's right, right here. But I'm pretty sure we're okay. We'll pull back just a little to be safe. Thank you very much. Look, there's a time and a place to take risks, okay? This might not be it. We should also remember I just finished researching the Academy of the Immortals. I'd like to place that, but we don't have to do it right now. That actually can wait a little bit because what it does is it's gonna turn all of my units into veterans. That includes the units I train up right now. So, we can just go ahead and start training snipers, and when I find myself with an excess of funds, if I ever do, then we'll be able to just place that thing down, and boom! Everyone gets experience. Alright, I think we can go ahead and start placing down a handful of walls. Something like this should honestly be enough to keep him pretty well and truly distracted. So let's just get a bunch of guys over here, take a single Titan, since this guy's relatively fast, does good damage, and can take a hit if something goes freaking wrong. Let's go find that giant. Where are you, buddy? Where are you, Mr. Giant? Hello, Mr. Giant. Go pew pew! All right, he's on his way, I am sure. Let's go ahead and run for it. Run for it. Jeez Louise, he is fast. Run! Run! Get to the safety of the walls! And we're good. All right, now we just uh, go pew pew. Look at this guy go down. Look at him go! Oh, you're such a loser. And now you're dead. Boom! That takes care of the remaining big threats on the map. Now what I can do... Why is this Thanatos here? Get the frick out of here. What we're gonna do is tell my guys to go on chase mode. What this means is they're gonna start automatically hunting and killing every zombie remaining on the map. Okay, they're going the wrong way. I want them to go this way. You can't control them really in that way. That, that kind of sucks. But the point is, I want them to go and kill every freaking zombie left on the map. Please and thank you. That would be loverly. And honestly, as long as they keep traveling as a group, it's no big deal. They're totally fine, they should be safe. We have a critical mass. I'm not really worried about their survivability chances. And in the meantime, while they clear out the rest of the map and we should be looking pretty good, let's go ahead and start reclaiming some extra funds from some of these towers. And the next big puzzle for us is gonna be deciding where are we making our final stand? So what I was saying earlier about I think that I've been kind of dumb about how I'm approaching this, right? 
By getting all the way to the edge of the map, here's how this is going to work. When the final wave hits, they're going to spawn in several different locations from the map. Some waves are going to be massive, some are mainly small. They might spawn right here, for example. They might spawn right down here. I don't know. And that will determine whether they're going to hit this wall, right, with some ballista towers here, or maybe the middle, or right here. I can spend the resources to try and uh, fortify this entire area, and it's gonna be expensive, and odds are only one of the three locations is gonna get hit very hard, which means everything else I spent over here is a total waste. Or, I could pull back. I could have a wall right along here, invest everything in this spot, maybe some more in this spot. Yes, this entire area is condemned, and I'll destroy all the buildings here right before the final wave hits, but now, depending on where they spawn, my odds of them going where I've spent my money are one and two instead of one out of three. This is all about resource management, right? We have a limited amount of gold before the final wave is going to hit. If I waste it in places where they are not hitting me, then my odds of winning the game are substantially lower. So we're improving our odds dramatically. It also can tighten up kind of the front line. Like right down here is a great example. Do I really want this large wall? It's terrible. I'm investing a lot of resources covering a lot of space. They'll hit me here for sure, but what if they hit me here? What if they hit me over here? What am I gonna do? Unknown. Better to scrap this whole thing, pull back to one nice wall right here. Probably do the same thing here actually, do this, right? And then we have a couple nice tight places where we can do a lot of splash damage. They're gonna funnel in where I want them to go and we'll be fine. That is the idea. That's what I really need to start doing. I think we're gonna have to rework our entire map. And I'm not gonna worry about my soldiers, by the way. I'm just gonna let them do their thing, all right? I'm, I'm now focusing on the macro game. That is the only thing that matters now. And honestly, they're doing great work. The only real problem with using chase mode is every once in a while you get something like this, where this big group then split off and now these little guys are all on their own and this is a great way to get themselves killed and every once in a while you gotta come back over here and make sure that they stick with the buddy system, okay? The buddy system exists for a reason. It's prevented a lot of children from getting lost on field trips. We should be using it in the zombie apocalypse. That's all I'm saying. Sitting on a ton of money right now, by the way. Do you wanna just go ahead and build the Academy of the Immortals now? Honestly, we probably don't need to do this this exact second. It really isn't that important, but sure. Let's just get it out of the way so I don't actually hit my cap on a bunch of resources. Because Lord knows, uh, that is something people will gruel me over in the comments. And honestly, justifiably so. That is a uh, noob mistake. By the way, all right, so my wife was reviewing episode two, which actually just went live at the time that I'm recording this. And by the way, didn't she do a good job on the edits? I have, not, I have not actually seen what she made. All I know is I'm having to trust her that she actually made the video and did a good job of editing. This is the first time I have not reviewed her work before I sent it out there. So um, that's a thing. But she went reviewing a lot of the comments and stuff, because of course she did. And apparently somebody is complaining that I'm not using WASD uh, when I'm like moving around on the map and stuff like that. You want to know what WASD does in this game? I'm going to hit them right now. W-A-S-D. Oh, look, absolutely nothing. It's because for whatever freaking reason, uh, in this game, they decided that the camera controls are not controlled by WASD. Nor are any of these other hotkeys, by the way. Now, of course, you can go to the command center, and there are a lot of different things here, you know, energy and stuff. But I'm really bad at those hotkeys, all right? There's a reason I suck at StarCraft 2. So, yeah, sorry if it triggers you a little bit, but, yeah, that's why we do what we do here. And honestly, if I'm willing to pause, which, you know, let's be honest, I play a lot of Paradox games, I'm, I'm very used to pausing. Um, it's not a problem. We're okay. Everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. She just mentioned that, and I'm like, oh, for God's sake. Calm down! So, anyway, as I have been saying before, let's think about our defenses. Here's what I'm thinking based on what I'm seeing in the north. This is a good spot for a choke point. This is a good spot for a choke point. I don't like this being right here. But we can wall this freaking off a lot and just slow people down until we can deal with them. So that's an option for us. I think I'm making a mistake by doing this right here. What I had originally as far as a choke point right here was actually a much smarter plan. I don't need these, uh, these wooden walls. These can go. But the point is, maybe I want to just go ahead and demolish a bunch of this and then just kind of reconsolidate. Bring it back over here. This would be a much safer place, and it would deal with a lot of areas. Are they going to spawn here? Are they going to spawn up here? What about over here? Doesn't matter. They all funnel to the exact same spot, right? We're kind of committed on the east, though. And I admit this one concerns me, because this area has historically gotten hit a lot. Hitten? Has gotten hit a lot. And I expect it to continue to do so, and uh, that could be a problem. Right down here, maybe similar deal, to be honest. And But the problem is we built all of our civilization out over here, so I can't really pull back. We're committed to defending this area, which means I need a lot of defenses if we want to live. 
We're almost done clearing out the map, I think. Just a couple little pockets up here in places I can barely see. And then there's this little area over here. But if we can do that, we are gonna be fine. And there's the Academy of the Immortals. All units are now veterans. Congratulations on your completely earned promotion. Didn't just happen out of frickin' nowhere. All right, we got five days remaining, which is not a lot of time, mind you, to clear all this area out. Got a number of snipers, got a fair number of Thanatos and Titans. I'm really concerned about this area in particular, actually. I think this is gonna be terrible. Let's remember that we can upgrade to Executor Towers. These guys are really, really good. They're a little expensive, but it's gonna be worth it because they do splash damage and can do a lot of damage in general. So they're totally a good thing. Let's make sure we also do not run out of things like power right now. I need to make sure that my power generation and my workers and stuff stay nice and high. That's one problem, honestly, is that we need to continue building out our economy. Like, I'd like to be able to just walk away from it now. All right, I'd like to say, you know what? It's too big to fail. We're good, we're solid. Let's just go ahead and leave, but no, it's not how it works. Anyway, but that's all the more reason why you don't want to be spread across too many front lines. Like, here, if I want to go to the edge of the map, what do I do? I'd have to wall right here, I'd have to wall right here, I'd have to wall right here, and I'd have to wall right here. Four locations. Guess how many troops I would need to make that work. This area, by the way, I don't think I would have to wall because it's looking to me like maybe there's no way to get in here. We're about to find out. So maybe this is another wall. But, you know what's a lot better? One, two. Boom! I get to have double the DPS at each location, greatly increasing my survivability chances. That's what I'm thinking, all right? This is the kind of strategery that's going through my pathetic little brain. Now, as far as like what kind of towers I wanna to build, I'm still a big fan of shock towers. I do think that they're pretty good. Do we need this? I don't think we need that. I like shock towers a lot because um, they're really good at clearing out a lot of the trash and kind of forcing some of the big guys to the front so your big towers can kill them all off. Not always necessary, I just like to have them. The big thing you gotta worry about, though, is if you're placing your towers really close to the walls, there is a chance... Oh, turns out we did need that power over here to get the oil. There's always gonna be a chance that uh, a spitter comes along and ruins your day by hitting the wall and then splash damage hits your tower and destroys it. And all of a sudden, your ability to defend yourself is gone down quite a lot. So that's a big concern with shock towers. They have to be up front in order to have the range. They're really close to the walls. They could get knocked out by accident. Sometimes that's going to be a little bit of luck required, right? Just a, just a little bit of luck for that not to happen. Now, the one problem with this defensive point right here is actually the gold pile in the way, believe it or not. Because that drastically changes where I can be placing towers and stuff. So I gotta figure out how the heck I'm gonna make this still work. Ugh, don't like it. Let's see, still four days remaining. Do we think that there's a high chance of any runners coming through on the edge of the map? Can I go ahead and start deleting all this, or am I leaving my minds needlessly exposed? Oh, probably. I still wanna get rid of it, but maybe that would be dumb. Now, the one problem with me building out a bunch of towers and stuff right now, they do have a maintenance cost. So keep that in mind. Um, I, I, I want to upgrade things to Executor Towers, but they have a very high maintenance cost. It may not be worth placing these down quite yet. That might be something we want to save for a little bit later. And I am out of lumber. I'm out of wood. How often does that happen? Good lord. Of all the things I was worried about, it turns out it was the freaking wood. I was expecting it to be the stone, but okay. Well, all the more reason to go ahead and start getting a lot more of that, and then again, just keep placing down more of these freaking power plants. Can't afford to ever run out of these things, or then I won't be able to place down more houses. Let's go ahead and start deleting these towers. I think at this point, let's just go ahead and take the risk. Make sure we do delete a lot of these things later, by the way. I cannot afford to just lose all these mines. Why? Well, mainly because it kills my score. Every building you lose ruins your score. It's almost as if they actually expect you to be good at the game or something. <laughs> Ridiculous, am I right? But yeah, that's what they want. And by the way, you may be wondering, are you gonna get more wonders before this all ends? I'm gonna try. Um, but hopefully by the time that the final wave is gonna hit, I will have a decent idea whether or not we are gonna be able to survive the storm that is to come. And if so, awesome, then uh, sure, I will happily go ahead and get myself some wonders with the copious amounts of leftover money that I am sure to have, right? Ha ha ha. How many extra, oh gosh, okay, we got a lot of troops to go around now. If I can get the time, I would love to go ahead and set up a bunch of stone towers in a few locations to boost up the range of a bunch of my snipers. That would be nice. We may or may not be able to pull that off, though. It kind of depends on a bunch of things. We'll see. Let's see, two days remaining. 
Day 72 is probably about when I want to start upgrading the Executor Towers. So I'll keep building about as much as I feel like I can get away with right now. But yeah, we're kind of reaching our end point. This is, we're, we're almost at the point where I just have to be good enough with what I've got, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Which doesn't feel good, to be honest. I would like to have a lot more than I currently do, but you know, you'd always like to have a lot more than you currently do. At some point, you have to roll the dice and trust that you have done your due diligence. I still think on the east we may be in trouble, though. For real, I got the bad feels over here. Generally speaking, though, I am actually feeling pretty good about what we've got. So by pulling back to a couple of choke points, we're able to have, like, let's say, at least one shock tower, a couple of ballistic towers at every point. Reinforcing heavily here, because I think this is going to be an issue. This area is just going to mostly need a lot of units. With the piles being where they are, I can't really fit more buildings, so this just kind of is what it is. Up over here feels halfway decent. Up over here feels okay. Again, needs a few units. This feels decent. This feels decent. This is a little risky. And then over here, we feel pretty good, too. So, like, pretty much at every corner, I actually feel like we're in pretty decent shape. As long as I can follow that up with upgrades to Executor Towers around the board. It would have been nice to just go ahead and take the entirety of the map, I, I acknowledge. It would have been really cool if we could have actually just had walls that go all the way to the edge and I control the whole map and I say, NOT ONE STEP BACK, ZOMBIE SCUM! That would have been awesome. Uh, however, I am practical. I recognize the limitations of my resources, and at the end of the day, this is still a maximum difficulty run. It doesn't matter how comfortable I think I am with this situation, it still sucks. By the way, this area, I'm just gonna clog up. Alright, I'm gonna back this up like a, a really bad toilet, okay? No zombies getting through here, not for a while. And here they come! 24 hours remaining! Oh my god! There are billions of them! Yep, 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 roll credits. This is actually not a bad time to go ahead and say we need to recover as much gold as possible. Everything outside the walls. I don't care if you technically could produce more for me, you're done. We're gonna go ahead and just pull back on everything before I forget. And every extra bit of gold that I get out of the arrangement, especially from things at these advanced quarries, goes to upgrading towers. These things need a few hours in order to upgrade. If we wait until right before the wave hits, it's gonna be too late. And nobody wants that. I mean, maybe some of you guys do, but let's be honest, some of you guys are notoriously not supportive of me. So, um, yeah, I, I believe it or not, I'm not keen on uh, giving into your fantasies where Provices fails miserably, all right? I mean, I'm not gonna say it can't happen, I'm just saying I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do my best not to let it happen. And was I able to get towers set up, by the way? No, I do not have any sniper nests whatsoever. At the end of the day, I think it's still way more important that we get Executor Towers. Um, the extra range on the snipers is nice, but the Executor Towers have such a DPS difference, it has to be the right call. Let's make sure we also are careful about the positioning of our units. I don't want them, just like the towers, to be too close to the wall, or they might accidentally die from spitters, and that would be a very bad thing. Only eight hours remaining. Is there anything else I feel like I could delete in order to just get some extra income? We could. We could get rid of things like um, farms and stuff, because, like, who needs the food, technically speaking, right? We could do that. Not sure that's exactly the wise decision, but it is a thing. Hello, stray tower that I missed. How are you? We should also make sure that all units are set, to, or these snipers are set to target the highest level. All executor towers also make sure you hit the highest level, especially harpies, spitters, and so on. All right, so this is it. They are about to spawn. Hold on, I'm doing one quick review. Most places I think are looking okay. I'm still nervous about this spot, but we'll watch it. Very nervous about this spot, but I've got more snipers on the way. Feel pretty good about this area over here. Not sure what's gonna happen here. This could still be a problem. This looks great to me. This is still risky, but with a couple executors are okay. This area is risky, but I think we might be fine there too. All right, I mean, it is what it is at this point. The die is cast, and there's no more time to be placing down additional um, towers. They're just not gonna build in time. Here come the first wave of harpies. This is typically how that works. They are the vanguard. They can fly over your walls and stuff, and that's a problem. But this is where having a couple of these towers can be helpful. This is where also having a bunch of snipers is certainly helpful. I forgot a radar tower, a Tesla tower up over here. Oh, whoops. All right, so that still got hit. I was afraid they had already broken through and that would have been disastrous. But no, so far so good. Oh God, this area is gonna get hit even harder than I thought. Yeah, this corner's about to get hit really hard. I'm looking at the map and I see a lot of red. To be fair, 
The eastern side of the map only has a couple of spawn points. The center of the maps usually do get a lot, and it's kind of this entire area is all going to funnel into one spot. This area may be a little bit risky, but I'm really concerned about right here. This is the problem, and if the spitters start knocking out my towers, we're going to be in trouble. We can try maybe training up a couple of titans. We will see. Everything else looking okay? This area might be tough, but so far it's not that much density. Right here's looking fun. That's a lot of harpies. Jesus, dude. Okay. Not feeling too worried about this, actually. This feels fine. The southern area is going to be rough. I, I can tell you that right now. Oh, see, they knocked out this shocking tower. This is the kind of thing that I'm talking about. So this tower is now effectively out of commission because it was just slightly in range for some spitters to take it out. All right, well, I can keep mashing things like repair and hope that eventually some of these go down. It might eventually work. I don't know, but I'm not going to count on it. How are we doing over here? Kind of holding our grounds. I can't really afford to pull anything else off. Are there any areas where I had troops that we don't need them? Yes, I don't need them here. Um, we're doing okay over here. I may want to consider pulling back a few units and sending them up over this direction still. Actually, we're doing kind of okay. I don't know. How are we looking over here? Kind of fine. It's hitting harder than I expected. All right, now they're going to start coming in hard over here. I may need to get another tower in this spot because I was kind of expecting them to hit a little bit over here, and they're not. They're going to hit me right in this corner. So, um, yeah, that leaves only one tower really doing its job. That's not going to be enough. Oh, finally starting to get a little value over here. Okay. I think same deal over here, to be honest. Maybe one more tower over in this direction would be wise. I just can't fit anything that's going to matter. That's the problem. Maybe right here. Eh, we can try for it. Doing great over here. This entire area is basically unnecessary. We're okay. So, let's... Oh, God. Let's redeploy them to the south. The south is getting hit really, really hard. Way worse than I expected. Holy crud. We're holding our ground over in this area. No biggie. We're doing actually really well over here. They're barely getting to the walls, so I'd say we've actually maybe overdone it there. Let's see if we can redeploy a Titan up to the north. This area is getting hit really, really hard. We lost the shock tower. That's why. We're trying to repair it and get it back online. I need this. Absolutely have to have that back. We can try to set up a few little walls in a few spots here. This is mostly just to slow them down if they do break through. Uh, still struggling really badly over here. Can I fit anything? Not much. Hey, Mr. Titan, you're just walking in place. Why don't you shoot things? Thank you. Oh, God, and they're about to... They're getting through here, too. Okay, we're getting hit really hard over here. I've got reinforcements on the way, but it may or may not be enough. Do I think that this can be handled by basically just the towers I've got? Yes. We may need to get over here with some more reinforcements. The south is in a lot of danger. The south's in a ton of danger. Holy crud. Why is this tower, like, barely even firing? I can't even see any evidence this tower is doing a thing. It's just sort of sitting there. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, hang on. It's not over yet. Okay, this area is clear. So the east is done. You guys, get over here. Help. Do something. Some of you guys actually redeploy over this direction. We're fine. I think we're good here. So we need to send reinforcements up this way. Another tower is about to go live. Oh, God. But right up over here in the north, that's also a problem. Frick, 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 frick. How are we going to get up here in time? I mean, we're doing really well on the west. I think it's the south and the north. That's it. South and north. If we can handle the south and the north, we're good. The shock tower, I think, is back online. Okay, with the shock tower back online, I think we actually have a chance. The big guys are all dead. So this is now the next big hot spot, and then down here. But we're whole... Oh, God, what are you doing? No, don't go that way. That is how... Okay, you know what? It's fine. We're kiting. That's all we're doing. This was deliberate, for sure. We're kiting. Guys, I think we got it. I actually think we are set. The north is still a massive conga line of death, all right, and rotting flesh. It's awful. But it's mostly little guys. If it's just little guys, I'm not worried. Executor Towers can handle that for days. The south is running out of steam. We've successfully survived on the south and the west. Okay. Okay, um, what do we do next? Well, on the off chance some guys are stragglers, I start looking for score. We're gonna start deleting some towers, get some money, and see if we can research one more wonder? Like the Crystal Palace, or something along those lines. Maybe unnecessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because I would love to get a bit of extra score here. Um, sometimes there's like one or two zombies that are really, really slow. 
to reach the front line. So you've got just enough time to research something fun. So like the lightning spire, I don't know. I'm not gonna have enough money to actually build all of these now that I think about it, probably. I don't know, we'll just go ahead and research it on the off chance it actually times out all right. The west is basically clear. Some stragglers coming through, not a big deal, totally fine. We've got it. This group is about finished. Okay, so no big problems there. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pull most of these units. Well, they can stay here for the moment. I don't see any really slow zombies, unfortunately. They're all runners. Ugh, all right. We probably will not have time to do what we wanted to do. No more wonders, it looks like. I was hoping some of these guys were me shambling around. Shy of us literally just saying, screw it, pull back all units and delete all towers, there's nothing more we can do. And I'd do it if there weren't for all these freaking chubbies still hanging around, to be honest. It's the only reason I'm not, because these guys are still around. Tell you what, we got time. Delete, 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 delete. I don't know, it's not gonna work, but let them just go ahead and get stuck on walls for a little bit. I don't care. Like, I got an army ready just to kill these guys the second they pop up. All right, I'm ready for it. Ah, oh, but it takes so long to research. Oh, this is stupid and gamey. All right, fine, I accept it. I would have loved to get some more wonders. We're not gonna get them. Just, just go finish them off. And there's only one chubby left. He's dead, and that's it. Day 75, ahead of schedule and we have won the game. Whew, all right. I am very glad that I pulled back where I did. I think that those were smart, intelligent choke points. If we had stuck with what I originally had planned, it would have been a disaster. At the end of the day, 3,402 max population. We killed another 43,000 infected. And by the way, I did get my achievement for killing 1 million infected in this game, by the way, so. You know, it just goes to show that, which is still not a lot, but I mean, it's something. 12 soldiers died and 164 colonists were infected, partly because some of those quarries outside the walls kept getting hit. With the 520% score factor, that gives us a final score of 141,947 points. That was a very solid run. And honestly, a really big part of that had to do with the fact that we did find some gold piles for free so early in the game. Those little boosts, man, th they give you a really solid start. That lets you start snowballing ever so slightly faster and sets you up for success. It really makes a massive difference, that extra 1,000 gold. But either way, I feel like we handled that pretty well. That was probably one of the best starts I've had for the game, even with a couple little experimental blunders here and there. We held our own pretty well. That map actually did feel a little bit easier to me than the snow map, though. I don't care what people say. I know that noise is a problem. But the fact that there were less mutants and only one Doom Village really far away changed everything. So I don't think that was that bad, all right? Maximum difficulty, pcha, no problem at all. Thank you all very much for watching and supporting this series of They Are Billions. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. If so, of course, I would ask that you hit that like button down below, leave a comment, subscribe, and if you haven't already, seriously, why aren't you subscribed? Just go ahead and do it and hit the notify bell. My name is Provis, and I will see you guys next time.